Life of Mahamandri, me, my dear students of 10th class of Gordon High School, Shadmund Bala. Today, all, uh, I wish you good afternoon. Good, uh, good afternoon. Today, on 10th of September 2020, may God bless you. Today, my topic is Inland Waterways in India. As far waterways or water transport is concerned, it is the cheapest and the clearest means of means or source sources of transportation and communication. Through waterways, on one side monies are saved, our precious money is saved. On the other hand, on the other hand, Time is less consumed. The goods are the passengers, uh, they reach the set, their destination in a very little time as compared to railways, as compared to as compared to motor transport. Motor transport. Thirdly, water transport is accessible. For everybody, it carries water through water transport. We carry heavy, heavy loads are carried, and heavy and bulky loads, bulky goods are carried. India has a India in India. There is a navigable, navigable, navigable waterways of fourteen thousand five hundred kilometers in length, total length. Out of these, only 3,700 kilometers are navigable by mechanized boat. On, on the rest of the navigable waterways, navigable waterways, the, the transport is carried on through through boats. Uh, ordinary boats, boats, boats are carried through ar ordinary boats. In India, there are the following, there are the following five, five waterways, inland waterways that are that has been declared as national waterways, national inland waterways rather. Number one, firstly, number one, Ganga River waterways between Allahabad and Haldia. Its length is 1620 kilometers. It, it, its length is 1620 kilometers. It, it uh, carries passengers, goods from, from, from through Ganga River from Allahabad to Haldia. Haldia in Allahabad is in UP, Uttar Pradesh, and Haldia is in. Assam. Second, second waterway in India, inland waterways in India, Brahmaputra River between Kadia and Dubri. It is in Assam. Its length is 891 kilometers. Third is the West Coast Canal between Kotayam and Kotayam and Kotayam, between Kotayam and Kotayam, Kotam and Kotayam, the West Coast Canal between Kotam and Kotayam, its length is 168 kilometers, it is in Kerala. And fourth, the Champakara Canal, its length is 14 kilometers and it is also in Kerala. Five, the Udyam. Uyoga Nanda Canal, its length is 22 kilometers and it is also in Kerala. My students, that was my topic today. May God bless you.